journalism means uh, taking risks, being ready to be in jail, being ready be to censored you know, or uh, to be killed. And five of our authors in our paper were killed in the last couple of decades. So, I mean, it's part of the business, unfortunately. Bear in mind that there is a kind of tag of war between the Democrats and autocrats in Turkey. And at least half of the country is uh, very close to the Western ideals, Western world, modern, secular uh, believer of human rights and press freedom. But on the other hand, they are weak and disorganized and need support. Uh, you have to find uh, some ways to support these people. I mean, okay, you can suspend the relationship, but you have to be in solidarity with those people. We have to now think about the long run. Uh, first, you have to uh, think of civil society, for example. We've got a lot of academicians now kicked out from universities. Take them to your universities. And for journalists, we need a kind of maybe exchange programs with media schools. Or, or visit the papers under C, I mean, CH of the government and ask your papers to spare some place for their articles, censored articles, or follow up their censored stories. For example, my story was censored, and we don't know where those arms were coming from and where we're doing, going to. I mean, we can find some people some journalists who can follow the story, showing the government that if you can, if you touch a journalist, many others are ready to follow up their stories. Try to visit the parliamentarians in jail. I mean, come together and ask the Turkish government to visit them. Each city in Europe can have a twin city in the southeastern Turkey to support them. And whenever they bomb the city, they can take part and go there and say that we are here to defend them, their rights. I'm talking about a really, a really deep-rooted relationship with Europe. Otherwise, I mean, in the coming future, I don't see any solution.